Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Monkey in the Morning. I'm your host, the Ranting Monkey. He's Jack. Say hi, Jack. Hi, everybody. Jack, how the hell you been, man? I'm exhausted. How are you? Oh, I feel you. I feel you. I um, guys, yesterday's day off was kind of, sort of planned. I told Jack that it might happen. The day before that was the weather, Jack. It started raining like hell. I was like, you know what? I'll just wait until the rain's over. And I pull up my my app, and it's like, yeah, it's gonna be raining real hard all night. And I'm like, well, shit. And so I tried oh. the AT and T, and it wouldn't work. It was worse than the satellite with the weather issues. So uh, we've had two days off, and um, we missed a lot of stuff. We got a lot to catch up on. Uh, first and foremost, I mean, we talked about the um, the Apple River stabbings. That dude was found guilty, not of murder, though, Jack. It was uh, involuntary manslaughter, reckless endangerment kind of shit. But he's still going basically away for murder. Yeah, and he'll probably do 20 years. Yeah, he's he's going away, and it's bullshit. We went over the case. It's just absolute nonsense. Yeah, it's, it's crap. Me and Will were arguing with this idiot over on Twitter. who's was like, he should have walked away. Like, he did. Twice. And you know he he still should have walked away. He still should. You obviously have never been in a situation that was uh, terrifying, and you had no possibility of retreat. So shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. He should have walked away. Fuck you, dude. Did you see the video? No. You're just like, oh, he should have kept going. He should have just been like, please, I don't want to fight. Can't always do that. Damn it, monkey took a nap. I did. Um, we we went for a long trip today, Jack, and uh, we were on Michigan roads, and my back was really not happy about it. And it, it's amazing, even when when they're fixing the roads in Michigan, they make it worse. So we're on uh, this long this long stretch. You know, you know how they'll do the traffic shift and they'll move you off to the side. Yeah. Well, for some reason, moving us off to the side, they decided to half pave part of the shoulder they do other than that in michigan well normally for a shift like this they wouldn't even do it because it's already paved but they decided to cover the rumble strip (laughs) and so and and every so often there would be a break in where they added the extra so there would be this dip and then you'd hit it back to go back up because it was just for a small little stretch like who the fuck planned this but yeah, my my back was was rough, and I wanted to go speak to Gretchen Whitmer, but I don't think she's taking my calls. Jack, um, my governor is a horrible, horrible person. Yeah, I know. I don't know if you've seen what she's doing now. So we have um, a government accountability office here in Michigan, and these are accountants. Their their whole job is to just go in. And see what's working, what's not, where money's being spent. Um, they're the ones who investigated her, you know, killing a bunch of old people. Um, this this department actually does decent work. Oh, In Gretchen, shut that shit down. Basically, Gretchen Weavers asked for a twenty three percent cut to that group's budget. Yeah, look, her husband's got a lot, a lot of lawn care, and she needs to hire some legals. So they're going to need that money for that. The The budget has gone up. Um, we just got some big grants from the federal government for some reason in the state. You got more and more spending going on. She's like, what we really need to do is get rid of those accountants who keep noticing how I'm fucking everything up. Obviously. They, they're the real problem in the state of Michigan. For fuck's sake. Yeah, they um the story that I read about it said that that office has gone up one to two percent every year in their budget. That's and it. Gretch is, yeah, and Gretch is like, we need to cut 23% so that we can give everybody free community college. Stop noticing my overspending. Yes, it, it's like for fuck's sake, man. And the the media here has not been going nuts like it should be over this. This is a group that has repeatedly been like, yeah, you're fucking this up. And her answer is always like, but they just don't like us. Literally, when it comes to like uh, the COVID deaths where, you know, she pulled a Cuomo here in Michigan. Yeah. 
bunch of old people that died mysteriously. Yeah, like, oh, they're just partisan hacks. Did did those old people actually die? Because that's the I don't I don't care if they're Republican, Green, Commie. I don't really give a fuck. Did that happen? Ah, uh, see, it doesn't matter, comrade, if the numbers uh, dip a little bit, but because they're just numbers, they're not people anymore. Yeah, That's true, the true. Communist mentality. That's the problem with collectivism. You are literally just a number, and you don't matter. You don't. You know. Hey, I was just told on Twitter uh, that that communist is going to say communism is going to save us all. <laughs> it's going <laughs> to save what, humanity. Life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to all be dead. Fuck <laughs> that. Of all being dead, fuck is going on in the Middle East, man. I suppose we should talk about this. It is in the headline after all. Oh, I can tell you exactly what's going on. You went on a trip and then you took a nap, and I warned you this could happen. Yeah, and sure enough, the apocalypse is upon us. Nice. It, it, it seems that way. Um so Iran fired over 200 missiles and drones at Israel. Reportedly, 99% of them were stopped in, in, in flight, Jack. Um, one of their military bases got hit, but reportedly nothing, no damage was really done. Good job on the missiles there, Iran. How, how, you, how you land a missile and you ain't damaged shit? Well, they didn't say they were good at missiles. They just That's had a fair. lot of them. Um. Joe Biden came out and said, look, we're not going to help you guys re-attack Iran. Iran said if there's a, a retaliation, which they claim this was, and we'll discuss that in a second, uh, but they'll retaliate again. I'm like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Could, could all the people over there just chill? Stop stop blowing each other up. Now, they claim Iran claims that this was uh, retaliation for the, the Jews blowing up shit that they shouldn't be blowing up. In this case, the Israelis say it was um, a, a convoy f- filled with stuff for Hezbollah. They also and, killed uh, some leaders of Hamas that were hiding out in an Iranian embassy. Yeah, the, the, the embassy is the one that really kicked it off. This is the one, and they said, uh, what, some IRC guard or whatever, the Iranian Republic National Guard, whatever the fuck they're called, we're in that building and got killed. And they're like, we got to kill him back now. Quick, throw something at him. Uh, I, it, the, the building is in Damascus. Um, it's, it's part of the Syrian shit going on still. You notice nobody ever talks about Syria anymore? Nobody that gave was a, a shit about Syria to begin with, except I Hillary mean, wanted a war there. It was a big discussion point in 2016. And it just kind of went by the wayside. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about it anymore until today when they're like, but they killed, ter- I mean, they killed some of our people. And so they well, fired these 200 drones and missiles and we helped shoot most of them down. Yeah. Well, the Iron Dome thing did a really good job. Just see the videos coming out. It's pretty oh, crazy yeah. looking. Yeah. Um. So what do you think happens here? I mean, Mr. Magoo's in charge. He's the leader of the free world. Oh, he went to bed at 5 p.m. They said there weren't going to be any more press conferences after 5. So he well, hasn't addressed this at all yet. They had to use some of his uh, his supply to keep him awake for different events over the years. So they're, they're mm-hmm. kind of low. They're waiting for more Adderall to come in. Yeah, much like our strategic oil reserve, it's critically low. So they haven't bothered to replenish it because gas prices are too high. Uh, no, I, I think that Biden's going to try and sit this one out because he doesn't give a shit about the Israelis. He doesn't give a shit that Iran, which is funded by him because he gave them $6 billion, is uh, trying to blow up one of our allies. You know, like it or not, Israel is an ally, and we have a lot of deals with them. And um, say what you want, but uh, we have like very few friends over there, like actual friends. So one of them getting attacked is kind of a big deal. Jordan did help out with taking out some of these missiles, by the way. Mm. I saw that uh, being reported from, I think it was Reuters. So they did uh, shoot down a couple of incoming missiles that I think were coming from Iran or uh, I think it was Iran. It might have been Hezbollah in um, Lebanon, but we shot down a bunch of them. So, yeah, their defense system seems to be holding up pretty well. And they've got a couple of people willing to go to bat for them. So, I don't know. I I think this could get messy. 
but I don't think it's going to. Reportedly, Biden said something to the effect of uh, Israel should be happy about today because <laughs> the, the the missiles and stuff didn't get through. That shows they're pretty protected. It's a it's a good day for Israel. Yeah, they just attacked uh, the unlike three sides. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's a good day. Just relax, Jews. Nothing nothing bad will happen. Anyhow, yeah, I, I, I think this. Uh, if the president doesn't come out with a strong stance on it, Iran might get a big hard on for attacking some more, but it, it could end up in a regional thing. But I think the Israelis do a pretty good job if it comes to it. And, you know, they'll probably have one or two allies helping them. Do you think but, the Israelis are going to let this go? I don't think so. I, th- I think this has the potential to really escalate in the region, but I think a lot of people yeah. are going to try and stay out of it especially like Egypt and Saudi Arabia. They're going to try and stay out of it. Syria's in no real position to do anything other than harbor some terrorists. But like Jordan might side with the Israelis and say, look, we, we can't have this kind of destabilization. But yeah, I think this could escalate pretty easily. Dangerous, you're right. I did see that video of, of Biden. Uh, what would you say to Iran? Don't, 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 don't. Well, well said, like President. He's Mr. talking President. to a dog. Yeah, it's like he's talking to a dog. No, stop. Sit. Don't bite that guy, Commander. <laughs> stop it. We're gonna take showers soon. Look, I think the Israelis, uh, you know, for for peace, Jack. Like, look, you guys got the building you wanted. You killed the targets you wanted. Nobody got hurt on your side here. Give him the finger and tell him to fuck off. Yeah. Tell them we'll, we'll keep targeting your, you know, terrorist criminals, but um, you guys are bitches. I would say that. Yeah. If they weren't harboring the leaders of Hamas or some of them, then they wouldn't have been targeted. So th- this is really just comes down to Iran's meddling in other people's affairs yep. and uh, hiding a bunch of terrorist leaders. And if they weren't doing that, none of this would have happened. Yeah, I, I would just point out to him. <laughs> I would laugh at him, honestly. Yeah, like, bro. Uh, uh, let's face it. The Israelis are better and more experienced at fighting than the Iranians are. Yep. And they probably have way more advanced equipment just because they're friends with us. I mean, what? They're getting like third generation Russian hand-me-downs over there in Iran. Yeah. So uh, unless the Russians are prepared to jump in on another front, which I don't think they are. At this point, um, it's probably just going to be Iran being stupid bitches. If they want to push it, they're going to end up losing. Uh, They might kill a bunch of people, but I don't think they can win, unless they do have a nuke. That is the only question mark for me, is whether or not they have a working nuke. Um, The Israelis keep a really close eye on that, so if they do, I imagine that if Israel strikes, that will be the first place that's hit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But uh, I, w- I would also be concerned that if they decide to blame us for this too, that probably already have agents have wandered over our southern border. No, how dare you? How dare you suggest that these unvetted people that we found from all over the world would be from Iran? I know it's crazy. It's like almost all those thirty thousand Chinese nationals that wandered over our border, just peace loving hippies that want to be here for um concerts or something dude i went to watch a video um not on youtube it was a a news video i forget what site it was on i want to say cbs but they were running a commercial at the beginning of it for a college and i wish i had caught the name of the college because i was trying to listen to the video as i was doing other things and this girl says that she chose this college i'm not making this up for their emphasis on social justice I'm like, oh, <laughs> so your parents are wasting money. Yeah, it's time to take that one off the list of places my kids would ever go if I had any kids. I'm going here because of their emphasis on, and she repeats it a second time, but didn't say the name of the thing, and and I couldn't, I didn't see the uh, the name of the college on the screen. I was looking. Yeah. Dirty hippie, you. Every once in a while, I want to be able to rewind commercials, and they won't let me. Yeah, but. 
I'm, I'm going to go to college to get smart in social justice. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> retards, man. Stupid. Imagine that. Imagine your child coming to you, Jack, and dad, dad, I want to go to this college because they have good social justice. I have no child. I get out. No get out of here. Whoever you are, you need to leave. Like, hang on. Let me go get you an application at McDonald's real quick. Yeah, I would express that, my utter and complete disdain and disappointment in my child at that point. Yeah, well, I mean, look, a lot of people going to college probably shouldn't anyway. Mm -hmm. And this, it, it literally is. That is just a waste of money. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're too stupid to be my kid. Sultan, uh, yes and no. He said it wasn't the point of college to get a job. Originally, no. It was to get a, a better education. And I know that sounds redundant because it's school, but... It was to further education. It, it, college didn't become this is how you get a job until the 80s. Yeah. And it starts yeah. about then with the big push. You have to go to college to get a decent job. Yeah. And, when, when we were kids, you could still get a job, a, a high-end job without having gone to college. Yeah. You could get all, all kinds of jobs. The only ones you wouldn't get are ones that actually require a degree, something like a lawyer, a doctor, uh, things that you have to pass some kind of exam for. Yeah, it's specialized stuff. Yeah. So it is now, but that's not what it used to be. And we need to go back to how it was because most of the jobs that require you to have a college degree, you don't really need a college degree. Yeah, they're going to train you. And what they want anyway. It's the majority of it. You don't, you can't go and learn this stuff. Not in a classroom setting. It's most training is on the job. Yeah. Very few jobs. Can you walk into and just on your own, know exactly what you're doing? Like I, Hey, you sit at that computer and do our stuff for us. No, they, I would like, okay, you do this and this and this and this STEM. Yeah. Basically STEM is what, um, college when it comes to needing the needing it to get a job stem fields were the ones that you needed a college degree the rest of it lots of people went to college who did not go to college for anything like that um the founders were all educated men jack who go to college they didn't go to college to you know learn to be a computer programmer they were studying history and classics and it was just to round out your education mm -hmm. it was for people of means to you know get smarter the plebs were in the fields man but we didn't have computer jobs back then yeah yo ass was working on daddy's farm and now everybody's going to school for no reason and the government's like we gotta pay for this i, I just mentioned our governor's trying to make you know the free community college thing well you know they gotta get that propaganda shoved down your throat just a little bit more and, and can I just point out, even as a child, I, I'm about 15 years old at the time. They're really pushing college on me. I'm like, but I don't really want to go to college. And I see all of these politicians, everybody needs to go to college. And like, that's a bad idea. Who's going to eventually pay for all that? And, uh, and why are you forcing everybody into this? Shut up, commie. And it's not that I'm, I was really smart at 15. Jack. It just didn't make sense to me. Like, wait. So I'm going to go get a job, you know, name a job that's not STEM, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get a job working at Foot Locker. And I need a fucking degree for that? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, there's lots of people with degrees in Foot Locker and Starbucks and pretty Walmart. much any mall you go to, you're going to find somebody with a degree in philosophy or ethnic studies. The Walmart that I worked at, it was in a college town, and a whole bunch of those college students came to work for me after they got their degree. Yep. And a lot of places have made it mandatory to be in management. You have to have a college degree. Yep. For no fucking reason. I knew a lot of people that didn't have a college degree that were better qualified as management than any of the ass clowns they hired. If you're going to go to college, do it for something real. These days, you should. if you're going to college, do it for a job. You're not there to just expand your mind. And that should not be what it's at at that age. Yeah. Uh, real quickly, thank you, Evolve Potato. Iran commandos also captured a Portuguese container ship in the last few days, which is yeah. very concerning since Portugal is a NATO member. 
This was a civilian vessel, not military in any way. That does not surprise me. Iran likes to do hijackings. They've they loved it since the 70s. Well, so, look what the Houthis have been doing. Yeah. If they escalate to that sort of thing and don't let these guys go and start trying to keep them as hostages, then you're going to see a bigger conflict. And Portugal, let's face it, they're one of the weaker NATO nations, but I'm pretty sure even they could team up with the Israelis and kick the shit out of the Iranians, unless the Iranians get a lot of help. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun what's going on in the world. The 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 Iranians claim if it's the ship I'm thinking about that it was actually an Israeli ship, you know, with the Portugal flag on it. Yeah, they they, they port there. Um. Yeah. So these these folks. Eh. Anyway, wasn't too long ago Biden let Iran have money for hostages. Yeah, just a little over what a two years now, a year and a half. They unfroze the six million dollar or six billion dollars that was sitting in a South Korean bank. Yeah. Uh, to add to the almost two billion that um, Obama gave them because he pretty much hates. Stop them. Did we give them a, a EBT card that you know blocked buying missiles or something? Nope. I'm not sure how that worked. We gave them like food stamps, right? That'd be a racist monkey. I guess. Um, funny since Portugal used to be one of the world's superpowers pre-America. Yeah, Portugal's kind of a weird story because yeah, they used to be a much bigger power. Uh, that's because they were real big in the slave trade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They. They were the ones that were complaining that it was ending. <laughs> and now they're just this weird little strip of, of land on the Iberian Peninsula that nobody really cares about. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Portuguese. Well, Spain used to be the same way. Spain was a huge empire for a very long time. Oh, yeah. They were one of the chief rivals of the um, English, especially in the colonies here. But they fell apart, too, just like France and all these other questionable empires that come and go they promise to only buy aid for the poor right yeah and that, that's exactly how iran is going to spend that money yeah but don't they, worry they, they bought special aid uh, of death for those poor israelis yeah i mean they, they, they'll kill poor people just as well as rich people just saying anyway so jack um do you think anything like is really going to kick off from this I'm be honest. I don't know. I think it depends on the Israeli response. I can see it blowing up, but I I can also see it just kind of blowing over too. Yeah, I think it really comes down to how much each side presses the issue. Yeah, because if the Israelis push it, it's going to become a bigger thing. If they overstep on retaliating, which let's face it, they're going to blow a bunch of shit up. That they're going to retaliate for this. There's no reason why they wouldn't. But if they go in and like level a couple of cities, or so you know, some completely insanely overreactionary thing, it's going to get bigger. But they are fighting with Hezbollah from Lebanon, the Iranians, Hamas, and um, those other ass clowns, and what is it? The other um, uh, outlying territories that they've got there. The PLO, whatever they used to be. Um, I don't know. It, it could go either way. But I'm fairly confident right now that nothing serious is going to come of this because uh, they didn't do a very good job attacking them. But, you know, it could go either way. It depends on your sleep schedule. Well, that's the thing. I, I do wonder, I mean, if Biden's a retard, but he is right in that this was a a colossal failure for the Iranians. Yeah. And uh, Sultan says if Israel doesn't retaliate, they'll look weak. Not necessarily. I mean, they they accomplished their goal with the bombing in Damascus. And Iran didn't really do anything. They tried. I, I think... and. Hear me out. I would understand them retaliating, and I wouldn't be like, those stupid fuckers shouldn't retaliate. I get it. If they want to go in there and take out the bases they know of, I understand it. Yeah. 
But I think the weaker you make uh, Iran look, if they do have a nuke, the more likely they are to use it. Yep. Uh, they're the type that would use it just to show that they have it. Yeah. And I, I'm really fairly confident i'd say 85 percent sure they probably do have one that they've been sitting on for a while because the russians have given them a lot of technology in the last few years mm -hmm. especially after because they've been buying munitions for ukraine so it wouldn't surprise me if they gave them like some uh better ballistic missile technology and they got caught working with the north koreans before so it wouldn't surprise me if they have a functional nuke. Some Russians came down and helped them or snuck them some material or technology. That's possible. But if, they're, if they've got one, they'd use it. So I don't know. I think it depends on how backed into a corner they feel. Um, they hate Israel. Mm -hmm. So that's fairly obvious to everybody paying attention. But I don't know. I, I kind of am all over the place on this one. I'm hoping it doesn't. I just want to read you my, my favorite tweet I saw on this, or at least the first part of it. it. says, Western intelligence assessed that Israel was bracing itself for a major attack from Iran that could come as soon as later. <laughs> wow. Really nailed that one on the head. What are you, a fucking Noster dumbass over there? <laughs> I'm sure the author meant to put something else there, but I I just love the way it could come as soon as later. Like, well, shit. At least it it's not you know a definitive of when. As soon as later might be my favorite new phrase. Wow, I know a lot of people are saying late on Sunday, and well, it's fairly accurate, but that's probably what they meant. But as soon as later, that's as soon as later. That's some genius writing there. Give that retard a raise. All right. Uh, moving along. Unless there's oh, more you had to say about it. Go ahead. Just one more thing, which is thank you, Pumpkin Trucker. Can we just teach the entire Middle East by demonstration how to make a trine tight and be done with it? Um, maybe. I don't know. I kind of wish the whole Middle East would just... Um, have a whoopsie and go away so yeah maybe faithless says it's more what they think they can get away with and yeah i i i understand that perspective too that's why i said if if the israelis do retaliate uh, again hit one of their their um drone bases israel has maps of all of iran they have a very good intelligence agency um they they know more about iran than we do most of the time because they're keeping a sharp eye on them. I can yeah, see well, him doing it. I just, uh, there's no need to go like real big on this. No, I think it'd be better to conserve the ammo for when it yeah. does pop off into something much more serious, but there's no need to accelerate that. No. Nope. So we'll see what happens with it. I, I don't think, I see again, once so many people, World War Three, like, relax, relax. Not yet. Yeah. Unless the Jews really blow up something over there, then maybe. It, uh, it again, depends how much you sleep, uh, how deep of a REM sleep you get, and how long. This is true, too. I was asleep when this happened. I know. Because you, you'd message me and said, uh, you know, I'm going to bed. And the next thing, the literal next thing I saw when I clicked off messages was that uh, Iran was uh, attacking Israel. I'm like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. He's okay. already asleep. I didn't go to sleep until 8 p.m. What time did, they, did this kick off? Um, it was right around there. I might not have been asleep yet. It might have just been the idea of me going to sleep, which makes this whole thing scarier. No, Because now I'm not even allowed to wait. think about sleeping. <laughs> You were half awake. You're like, oh, I'm really tired. Yeah, and you're like, you close your eyes for a second, missiles get launched. Thank you, Dangerous, who says, Iran putting the miss in missiles. Indeed. Yeah, well, you know, they worked hard on the explosive bits, but not the navigation bits. <laughs> a helping Hound says, uh, media is to war what oxygen is to fire. That is true. That is true. Uh, hold, hold on, I got a couple more here. Um, thank you, Evolve Potato. I found the Israeli link. The ship is based on to an sorry, the ship is leased to an Italian shipping company, but is owned by 
Gordel Shipping, which are affiliated with Zodiac Marine, which means they own some stock from Gordel. Zodiac Marine is owned by Israeli billionaire. That's the link. Oh, well, that is that is really roundabout. I'm more inclined to think the, the Iranians don't know what flags are which. Uh, thank you, Pumpkin Trucker. Trinitite. Trinitite's atomic glass. I know what it is. I just can't pronounce it. And I'm not really opposed to what you were saying earlier. All right, Jack. I I, I think I want to do this one first. Do you? Yeah. I We're going to have to talk about the abortion. Let's do the abortion one real quick because I, I got to get this out of my system. Republicans let it go. I get it. I hate abortion. I'm against abortion. I think abortion is murder. But if you want to win this, uh, abortion is a losing topic for you. Um, the Roe v. Wade got overturned. Stick to your state abortion fights and knock this shit off on the... If you want to lose, this is the way that Trump can lose is the abortion fight. And hear me out. The entirety of the country has been told for 50 years that it's a fucking right. The same ones who are willing to give up their right to free speech are not willing to give up their right to that dead baby. Yeah, they look, uh, especially on the left, they love their dead babies. Uh, like you said, it's a losing argument. The Republicans it's... are pushing this because, A, they can't stop themselves from arguing dumb shit. And two, they really love losing. They do not want to win anything. They love being in the minority and sitting there just whining a lot and not doing anything. So they are trying to once again snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. You have 50 years of propaganda to overcome, and you cannot do it in just two years. No, and if, if they were smart, they'd... Sorry. I'd say, and especially when the reason that it came was another court case that just overturns it rather than you know a an actual shift in the society. Yeah, and by polling, most Americans are against abortion, but they still be believe the propaganda. Yeah. So... You have to just let it stew in the states for a while so people get used to the idea that's a state's rights issue and just leave it that way. Be like, well, it didn't really affect anything in my state. So, yeah, this is a non-issue. So shut the fuck up, you retards. You don't need to opine on every stupid thing. But again, I think they do this on purpose so that they will lose and then they can scream about what victims they are. It's just victimhood for uh, Republicans. My favorite post I saw on this, though, and the reason we're talking about it, is this guy says, the way that you got to win this, all right, is that you need to tell liberal men, look, these liberal women, they don't want to have your babies. They they want to they wanna get rid of you. Yeah. So... Uh, you need to you need to tell these guys that, and those guys will be like, "Oh my God, they don't want to have my babies." I'm a Republican now, and like, uh, what? Yeah, it's you, fucking dumb. You, uh, th you think the guys who literally are, will shut up when they're like, "Hey, you don't have a uterus, you can't talk in this debate," are gonna suddenly care about being masculine at all? No, no, they like being little cut boys. <laughs> Oh. They, they wouldn't be liberal men if they had any masculinity to begin with. No, if the Republicans were smart, which they're not because they're lazy cowards, uh, they would be pushing for uh, tax deductions in their home states for mm -hmm. people with families and encouraging people to have kids. You get bigger tax breaks. You get other stuff for uh, having kids, discounts on car insurance. That sort of thing. Encourage people to have children. Instead, they go the opposite route. And they just stand there and be like, Abortion bad! Because they know that they can lose that way. And I'm telling you, they do not want to be a ma majority. They are terrified of being held accountable for anything they do. Yeah, and I'm all for going out there and saying, Hey, I'm against abortion. There's nothing wrong with that. But that cannot be the central fight if you want to win this election. You can't. After Roe, um, the entire country's like abortion is a right. After Dobbs, what was what is the mainstream media opinion? Abortion should still be a right. 
it didn't suddenly be like, no, abortion's not actually a right. That was stupid, and we shouldn't, you know, it's, it, at best, it's a state rights issue. No, no, no. Instead, it was like, they stole your rights. Those bastards who think men uh, are men and women aren't, aren't um, they, 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 they want to attack women. Well, according to some politicians, uh, this is actually racist, and that proves that they want to put you back in chains. Yeah, uh, let's not forget the roots of abortion as we talk about that. Too. There's so many good arguments to make about it without making this whole election about it, but every yep. this keeps popping off. Because people like Lindsey Graham are fucking idiots, and they can't shut up. They don't know when to shut up, and they don't want to win. Yep. So it's a great combination. And so what happens? It blows up in the media, and Biden's polls recover a little bit, and suddenly nobody's talking about the border. Yeah, because the, the Republicans know that they don't want Trump in charge because they don't like him because he doesn't play political ball. So they don't want him to be the nominee. They never did. Most of them are a bunch of anti-Trumper rhinos and pieces of shit. So they're going to continue to try and make him fail, even at the cost of winning the White House, because they don't want to win, first of all. And second of all, they don't like Trump. And third, they uh, he's just not one of them. He's not an elite. He's not sophisticated. He's a barbarian. I hate these people. They play these stupid little games with our lives like a bunch of uh, 18th century nobles, and they don't give a damn who they hurt. Not wanting to kill black babies is racist. Yeah, that is that is basically their, their take. I mean, yeah. I, I told you about that time I got into an argument with somebody like, you know, most abortions are black children. That's not even true. And I gave him the the actual data. We have the data. Yeah, it's Granted, not like it's that's not, new. It's not full data because some states don't actually track it, which is weird. But um, the the overwhelming number of abortions go to black children. Yeah, yeah. It's, so uh, many black well, kids have been killed in abortion that the population would be double if they hadn't have been. Yep. That's why, uh, well, Margaret Sanger was a racist and she yeah. wanted Planned Parenthoods and black communities to control the black population. She says it in her books. And this isn't a secret. They just don't want you to read what she actually said. And for the record, um, that is just the babies that would be born, not the babies that those ones would have had by now and then their yeah. grandchildren. Yeah, because uh, 50 years is a long time. It really is. Uh, that's um, what, two generations? In my, I'm almost 50, Jack, and I have children and grandchildren. Yeah, old, I know. So yeah, they're, they're like, they're, what, what, what's the matter? We kill, we, we need, we need people to stop being racist. Murder the black kids. Yeah, what well, uh, uh, Operation <laughs> Coat Hanger. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you, Evolve Potato. If you want liberal men to be against abortion, just tell them that with abortion. They won't be able to molest children, and you'll have them hating it in no time. You're, that is probably a much better strategy. Yeah. Um. Yep, Planned Parenthood was to control the population of undesirables. Yeah, she, I mean, this is not even in question. They, no. they now try to dress it up like, no, no. What she was talking about was, yeah, hating black people, but she changed near the end. No, she did Margaret no, Sanger was a eugenicist. Yeah, she absolutely was. And and part of that eugenicism was uh, to get rid of black people. Yeah, yeah, uh, to control all the uh, the lessers, yep. the non-whites. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, uh, Jack, let's talk about a little pop culture, shall we? Oh, no. Uh, I mean, okay. I, I just want to be clear as we talk about this. I have not watched the show. I do not have an opinion on the show. Because I haven't seen it yet, Jack. But the new Fallout show went live on Amazon the other day. And this is a an article from PC Gamer Magazine talking to the lead designer of the original Fallout game. Okay? Okay. It says, Kane appreciated the performances and storytelling, but singled out how the show nailed the Fallout vibe as its biggest achievement. Quote, I was just looking at all the props he said of one scene. I realized after a few minutes went by that I had not followed the dialogue at all because I was so engrossed in it visually. 
And as somebody who hasn't seen this, and I probably am going to watch it, Jack, because I do like Fallout, and I'm, I'm curious to see how well they did with this. Somebody telling me the story is so fucking boring that I got distracted for minutes, <laughs> for minutes, <laughs> by what's going on in the background, what the background look like, is not really selling me on it. Right. And it's amazing how many people got mad at me pointing this out. No, that's exactly what he said. <laughs> I was told I took him out of context. Uh, no, it sounds like that was correct context. That's what I got out of it. Like, I, oh, it's real pretty, but it's boring <laughs> as shit because I was looking at all the minor details. I, I realized after a few minutes that I had not followed the dialogue. Yeah, one of, one of the comic nerds I know said pretty much the same thing. He was like, yeah, it's beautiful. They really got the look down. The equipment looks awesome. It's just like you playing the video game, except the story sucks dick. Well, I mean, Fallout 4 story kind of sucked dick too, honestly. Yeah, well, they apparently some of the uh, in the first episode they pretty much wiped uh, New Vegas storyline from the canon. From canon, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not shocked. Like I said, I I I'm gonna watch it. I like video games. And again, it does look good. The trailer didn't tell me much to really go into it expecting. So it, for me, it's kind of like going into a new Fallout game. I haven't loved everything about the Fallout games. One and two were great. Three was all right. I know everybody loves New Vegas. It was okay. I like New Vegas. It was fun. I, I thought three was okay, but I didn't really finish it. Because it... it well, yeah, I did, because it ended abruptly, and I couldn't go back and play it anymore. And I was like, this sucks. Yeah. I just, this to me, when you're trying to sell the thing, because the, the whole article is about how this guy really, really loved the show. And that's that's fair. I mean, I, I, don't, I can't say he didn't like it, right? Yeah. But when you tell me you were literally distracted for minutes at a time, where you're not paying attention to the story at all, um... That doesn't sell me on, yeah, this is really great. You've got to see this. Just don't listen to it. <laughs> yeah, just don't pay attention. Just hit it, put it on mute. Uh, if if that's all I wanted, I would go to like a Fallout-themed amusement park. Which, because that's uh, what you're let's talking about. It would be really cheap to do. <laughs> Isn't what you're talking about here at that point, if all you're doing is paying attention to the background? It's yeah. it's like a a walkthrough of a of an amusement park. Yeah, uh, the only reason I want to see any of this is because it's got Walter Goggins in it. Faithless says three was my first, so it's my favorite. I my first was one. Um, three comes out or is coming out, so I went to good old games. I'd never played the originals, and I got them, and I played through them, and mm -hmm. I fucking loved them. They were great. Uh, uh, I, I like one and two and uh, Wasteland. The I think this one. the story is much better in one and two. Yeah. Yeah, it had a lot of good side stories. Yeah. And like, like I said, the show's got Walton Goggins in it, so anything with him in it, I'm up for That man is a very underrated actor. Officer Buck, thank you so much. From what I've heard, they turned the vault tech into megalomaniacal, me megalomaniacal, fuck, capitalist supervillains who started the war for money, power armor into proto Iron Man armor and fed into Todd Howard, jealous of New Vegas and Fallout. Or right, and yeah, look, um, I that I don't know about turning them into a a, a capitalist supervillain, but uh, Voltec absolutely are the villains of Fallout. If you see the different vaults that are around, fuck. Yeah, they weren't good people. But, they were bad uh, people. <laughs> they were just doing experiments on humans. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's a dystopian setting, so... I, but the fact that Amazon did it, and after watching that turd of Lord of the Rings, I'm really gun-shy of anything they do. Um, It was hinted that vault escalated the war in the original... Yeah, yeah. They never come out and say it, though. They also don't... Um. If if memory serves, it's been a while since I dug deep into the lore. We know the Chinese were involved, but nobody's quite sure who fired first. I don't think that's ever been established in the lore. 
I just love that this guy, like, yeah, it's so great. Did you see the background? <laughs> Fuck off. There's a whole desert and everything. <laughs> oh, what else do we have? Oh, God. We we had um, Mike Johnson finally putting forth the... Uh, voting, Jack? You ducked out. What'd you say? Oh, I said Mike Johnson put forward the bill. I forget who the sponsor is uh, to to stop illegals from being allowed to vote nationally. Oh yeah. And Shot. boy are boy are people who don't think illegals vote in elections mad about the option of a law saying they're not allowed to, and that yeah, the people who facilitate it can go to jail for it. Weird that. Of course, yeah. Mike Johnson also put the FISA bill up uh, because he supports it because he's a fucking traitor. Thank you, Dr. Resurrect, for that feminist twelve dollars. Started the war and the what? What? And I didn't hear any of that. You ducked out because you started reading before it was done. Before what was done? Uh, whenever the you get a dono, you duck yeah. out, and it it takes like five seconds for you to recover. So sometimes you you start reading before you come back. Yeah, but I, I'd already come back because you told me I ducked out and and then I waited to read. No, so it's just the only my, thing I understood of that was what. So my my internet was just being shitty. That's my oh, right it's there. just your internet. Oh. Yeah, I was blaming um, the wrong thing. Damn it. Yeah, my bad. Dark, Dark Resurrect, thank you for that feminist twelve dollars. Without spoiling too much, China's no longer starting. The, no longer started the war, and Jinganist and Jinganist anti-communist vibe is ninety percent cut. I mean, it's Hollywood. Yeah. Are you shocked that they're 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 against the communists being shown as shitbags? Yeah. Well, I mean, they they love communism in China because China gives them lots of money, right, John Cena? And I'm I'm guessing this is what Officer Buck is getting at because he says here, I'm not. Thank you for the donation, by the way. I'm not questioning Voltex villainy. I'm just pointing out how they made them the sole reason for the war, and they did it for monetary reasons. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Look, less excited about this show as as we go here. Um, like I said, I'll still watch it, Jack. Uh, yeah, but I'll go over to someone else's house and watch it. I'm not paying for that shit. I don't have Amazon Prime, so I can't watch it for free. Yeah, I have Prime, so it's just what I'll I'll watch because I can. Yeah, and, and like I said, I, I'm interested in it, but the fallout is decidedly anti-communist in the in the originals um they're not necessarily pro-capitalist a, a lot of the stuff that that people like about the the fallout series is actually kind of a, a backhanded slap at the the time yeah but anyway wasn't the reason for the war resource scarcity um Again, it would, I would have to dig back into the lore, and it's been a while since I have. Anyhow, Jack, moving along, where was... Oh, we were talking about the the bill to stop illegals from voting. Somebody asked... It, I responded to Brian Stelter, who had quoted somebody as saying that illegals rarely vote jack rarely not don't rarely yeah right and it's already illegal which is true uh, on the federal level it is absolutely illegal for them to vote however we've already seen municipalities around the country start allowing illegals and yes some are green card holders but they do allow illegals as well um vote in their local elections because they live in this community, so they should have a say. Well, if that is their thinking, that they live in their community, so they should have a set a say in it, isn't the logical next step doing that on the federal level? Yep. Because th by that rationale, they live in the United States, so therefore they should have a say. There's a reason we don't let them vote. And that's because they can start to influence things negatively, like yeah. uh, having the call to prayer several times a day. Uh, 
because they voted for it. Voting in is extremists who want Sharia law to run parallel to American law before taking over entirely. Having some morals police, uh, getting rid of things that we like, like, you know, freedom. Um, that's why we shouldn't let them vote. So this is dumb. And they need to ban illegals from voting. I'm shocked the Republicans actually put this up. Lindsay says, funny he does this right after uh, Margaret Margaret Taylor Green. Marjorie Taylor Green. Fuck. Threatened to file a motion uh, for Johnson to vacate his position. Not sure if she did it yet. She filed all the paperwork. She just has not uh, taken the next step that actually kicks off the vote for it. Yeah. But let's talk about that fucking idiot for a minute. Not Johnson. Marjorie Taylor Green. Marjorie Taylor Green, in talking about the um, the wiretapping over there at FISA, uh, she says, this is bad. This is a bad thing. We shouldn't do this. And somebody said, are you going to vote against it? I'm not sure. Uh, what? She actually says this, Jack. She's she's being asked about it. She's explaining why the, the FISA extension is a bad idea. And then says she's not sure she's going to vote against it. And then she didn't vote against it. She voted for it. Yep. Uh, like we knew all these piece of shit Republicans would do because they don't like winning. And, and she uh, does. She's been doing this more and more. This is why I say she is the AOC of the of the right. Because mm -hmm. AOC does the same thing. She'll talk a good game and then just vote along with the, the people in charge. Yep. But yeah, she's, she likes to go out there and make a, a big name for herself. And then if you look at the people who voted against, her name's not on it. She she went right along with it like she has on so many things ever since the speakership vote uh, uh, for for uh, McCarthy. We're not even talking about the last one. Remember, she she pretty much went with the Republicans immediately on that. She's like, I'll suck his dick. This is why she doesn't like um, Boebert and Matt Gates anymore. Speaking of Matt Gates and McCarthy, McCarthy came out the other day and said the reason he was ousted, Jack, the reason he was ousted is because he was asked to get rid of an, an ethics investigation against Matt Gates. He didn't say Matt Gates, but we all know who he's talking about. And he didn't, he couldn't do that because that would be illegal. So they kicked him out. All right. No, they kicked you out because you didn't do what you promised you'd do, you sack of shit. Let's say, for argument's sake, Jack, that he's right. That it's just because he refused to, to stop an investigation into Matt Gates. That's why he got kicked out. Well, a year before that, uh, when they were fighting to keep you from even being put in that place, what was it about then? When Paul Ryan became Speaker, when it should have been, by all rights, should have been McCarthy's job at that point, Jack, if you go by seniority in the House. Mm -hmm. Why didn't it happen then? That's back in what, 2014, 15? Something like that. But no, no. The only reason people didn't like him is because well, he, he wouldn't stop Matt Gates from, from getting in trouble for banging a 17-year-old. Allegedly. Allegedly. Well, um... Is that why he pussed out and just quit Congress right after he didn't get his way anymore? He took his ball bat, went home. Oh no, he did that because he saw the monetary gain there. Oh, that's right. He likes money. He does, and he's a California Republican, which is like you know being a communist. Yeah. So he he can go on all the right shows now, Jack, and I I'm sure he's writing a book if he hasn't got one out already. Oh, speaking of that, I found out my governor's writing a book. <laughs> Why? Is it a um, picture book? She had excess crayons? I don't know. Yeah. How to murder old people? Yeah. And she's apparently considering a run for the White House in 28, which is fucking amazing. Well, that would be, that'd be very entertaining. It would be great. It would be great. And I hope she does run, and I hope she loses to a, a man in a dress. Newsome? Yes. Yeah, what well, no, Buddha sheesh. Ha! Look, I'm sure he wears dresses at home. Anyway, moving along. 
there's so many stories that have gone on in the last two days. Um, it's it's our first video segment of the day, and I just want to say to the f- wonderful folks at YouTube, I do not agree with what this woman says. We are showing this for news value. We are not helping to spread threats of physical violence. We have some peaceful Palestinian protesters, Jack. You know, the good folks. Yeah, I saw this. Yeah, uh, where was this? Bakersfield. Bakersfield, California. And um, this lady apparently has been doing this for months, and she'll tell us this, or years now, I think is what she says. But I want to highlight Jack, this, Jack, just because we, we're we seeing how brazen they are. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine if a a right winger did this? They'd have shot him there. Oh, if Alex likely. Stein got up there and said what this bitch did, just say about any other group, you know, something that conservatives don't like, they'd have shot him on the spot. Be like, oh, he's he's dangerous. We got we 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 have feds that told us so. But anyway, here's our our junky little monkey, and she's got she got some stuff on her mind to speak in support of the city council introducing a ceasefire resolution, specifically the one um, United Liberation Front um, has drafted. Anytime I hear liberation in any group name, I'm like, oh, terrorist. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of a terror go-to, isn't it? Isn't it? It's like it's a synonym these days. Anyway, she she wants some liberation, y'all. I don't have faith that you'll do this. You guys are all horrible human beings and Jesus probably would have killed you himself. That's how bad you are because you haven't put out a resolution calling for a ceasefire that would do absolutely fucking nothing. That makes you so bad. Jesus would have killed you. You know, like he was known to do. As I heard that, my 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 head went. We really need asylums. We've needed them back since they left. This bitch should be in a padded cell. Anyway, and the thing is, though, it's very clear to me as in someone who's been an organizer for the past couple of years that none of you care because you got, you guys don't care about anything happening in Palestine or any other country where oppression occurs because you don't care about the oppression occurring here. And I. All right. Um, I would argue that the oppression that's happening in Palestine is from the Palestinians, but for argument's sake, let's just say it's those mean-ass Jews, Jack. What in America is even comparable to that? What the fuck is happening in Bakersfield? Did they wall off like a small section and like, you guys can't come out of there because you keep blowing us up? Did I miss a headline? I feel like that would have been all over the place. Uh, you would think so, but I don't think it happened. <laughs> you guys don't even, of course you wouldn't care about that. You don't care about the oppression here. Sweetie, you know how I can prove there's no oppression? You're standing up there saying this stupid shit and you were allowed to. Shut uh, up. No, uh, monkey. Uh, she probably got booted out of a golden corral because you've been here for an hour. Sean, <laughs> you're getting ahead of us. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Jack. No, it's just, she she was oppressed by the limitations of the um of the buffet. That's that's what happened. We said all you can eat. That means one sitting, not all day, lady. Yeah. I understand that you guys are all horrible people. Horrible. But the thing is, 2,300 people being evicted in the last year. Those are votes, and you. Did those 2,300 people? pay their rent seems to have shifted slightly from what she was talking about okay hi hi i was just saying to you uh my connection was shitty what did you say and then it went blank on me (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> see i told you it wasn't just the ducking from the donation <laughs> oh fair enough darling uh no i i think that she's she's drifting like she doesn't have a, like a lot of these lefties they don't have a lot of focus 
So yeah. they can't talk about just one topic. They kind of bounce around as if we understand there's a connection. I missed this over on on uh, Rumble Machine Gun Jesus. Yes, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at that outfit, too. What is that? That's a lot of color going on. Oh. Yep, he's, and he's gone. Is he coming back? Let's see, let me, what, what's happening? I'm scared. Hi. Hi. I'm getting scared, too. I think this woman has my home address or something. Probably. She stood in front of the satellite dish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as I was saying, no, this is a native garb kind of thing. I don't think that's accurate. Maybe the front part there, that the color scheme there looks more, but I don't think the whatever modern art nonsense CIA op that out, rest of that outfit is does not look native at all to me. Looks like a gobstopper. It this is very similar to the Afrocentric stuff we saw in the late 80s and early 90s where suddenly black people were all running around in dresses with vaguely african continent looking symbols on it yeah like motherland like they're not even wearing that stuff anymore what are you doing getting all your information from 1960s national geographics right now, is is she dot or feather because yes i really tell oh if i had to guess i mean honestly i would guess dot but she's going for feather here i i honestly don't know though Oh, uh, yeah. Well, guys, those are votes to win here in Bakersfield. And while you... you, The people who aren't paying their rent, they're definitely going to the, the polls. It, unless squatting is on the issues. I uh, don't think they're doing that. Also, her tattoos look shitty. She's dressing in solidarity with Elizabeth Warren. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous. How dare you, sir? You guys parade Gandhi around as a Hindu holiday called Chaitra Navratri it starts off this week. I remind you that these holidays that we practice, that other people in the global south practice, believe in violent revolution against their oppressors. And I hope one day somebody brings the guillotine and kills all of you motherfuckers. Well, that's not polite. Yeah, that seems a bit rude. Did you see her arrest video? I have not seen the arrest video. Oh, it's the third link. Oh, cool, cool. Now, she's not our, our little, our little, um, and this is why I think she's dot not. She starts talking about Gandhi, and and apparently in the South, there's a whole bunch of people who are violent Gandhians. Uh, yeah, well, there's like seven factions of uh, Hindus, and I, it's been a while. I'm really rusty on my Hinduism, but some of them are pretty violent. So she, I think she's referencing some people out of the like Tamil community. Yeah. Uh, from the past. You know, it's like referencing the thuggy. You know, it's you're like, most people don't know what the fuck you're talking about, lady. All right. Uh, that was rude at the end. Oh, wait. Wait till the end of the next part. Because look, as fucked up as what she said is right there, I still consider that part free speech because she didn't ask for anybody to do it. Yeah, she, she was. She hopes. Yeah, it was was not a call to action. It was no. more of a fantasy. She, did you really expect her to hunger strike? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, audience, stop being funnier than us. Okay, it makes us look bad. All right, she wasn't done though, y'all. She got the more increased stuff. criminalization for no. Now this is. I can't tell if this is a different time, and she just took her hair down and was allowed to speak again. But she's wearing the same dress. Yeah, well, I mean, it might be her only one if she's a squatter. She went and got her Velma glasses, and um, she's back. No need other than you don't like when people come and hold you guys accountable for introducing ceasefire resolutions, because the only escalation in violence has been by you all. And her escalation in violence, as she's describing, is them putting up metal detectors after what she said last time. That's the escalation in violence here. Uh, yep. That's the so Bakersfield no City Council is the most extremely violent city council in the world. 
out there with their their assault metal detectors. Yeah, those stationary metal detectors. <laughs> oh. No need to continue. In the last five years I've attended city council meetings, there's never been metal detectors. There's never been more cops. The only reason you're doing it is because people actually don't care if you... You don't think it has anything to do with you saying, I'll remind you we're violent and I hope somebody kills you. Um, hate back. I, 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 I'm not necessarily on their side with metal detectors over that because I don't think this woman's a threat to anything that's you know not edible, but and maybe the toilet afterwards. <laughs> I can understand them going. You know what? This is getting a little heated in here from these fucking crazies who support terrorists. By the way, and uh, those might have been a, a plan in place for years, though. It could have been, or it could be that this woman who's literally supporting terrorists, uh, you guys need to tell the ceasefire because they're being mean to the terrorists, <laughs> then turns around like, I'll remind you we're violent and I hope someone kills you. <laughs> yeah, why are there metal uh, detectors? It's, it's only because you don't like when people stand up to you. No, it's because you guys are fucking crazy. And while, yes, most of the people who say stupid shit like this don't do anything, you don't want to be the example of when they do. And a metal detector is a minor thing. Oh, my God. I had to walk through a metal detector today. Uh, don't bring the kids into this. <laughs> Sorry, the metal detectors are only for the children. We don't trust them. Yeah, we don't trust them at all. You guys don't like them and they're actually resisting so you want to criminalize them so regardless of whether you elect people into office they'll backstab you they'll let you die and for that reason you guys want to criminalize us with metal detectors we'll see you at your house we'll murder you all right now that no, that's no threat. <laughs> that's no longer a a vague i hope something bad happens to you we'll see you at your house and we'll murder you Whoopsie. Now, I think this does show. Uh, yeah, it does. Hang on. Let's, we'll, we'll let the city council respond real fast. Next speaker, please. Lance, followed by Kev, followed by Valeria. Why are they all fat? Do you see the guy coming down to talk? Well, fat Spiel. people have a lot of stagnant time, so they're. They're more focused on the issues. I think they need to change because it's Baker's field. They're, they're obviously oh. eating lots of donuts. You need to change that to veggie field. Yeah, th they need to change that to like gymnastics field. I bet half these people are vegans. Miss Patel, Miss Patel, that was a threat. What you said at the end, and so the officers are going to escort you out and take care of that. I'm going to take care of you by breaking your kneecaps. They're going to make you walk through the metal detector <laughs> back and forth till you cry. <laughs> okay, you said the third one is the the, the arrest. Yeah, so uh, I was thinking they'd throw a Twinkie up and like lure it over so she has to walk through the metal detector and then pull it back and so she has to come back for it. Uh, Good times. Oh my god. All right. This looks like her at the arraignment. Okay. Oh, look at her cry. No. Oh, that's getting loud. A deputy public defender entered not guilty pleas on Patel's behalf to eight counts of threatening a public official and ten counts of making terroristic threats. Oh cry. Cry. Yeah, eight people on that council, and you threatened to murder all of them. By going to their house. <laughs> Good fucking job, lady. Uh, different. Yeah, this is the arraignment. This is the arraignment. Yeah, oh, yeah that's my bad. Funny as shit. I love that she's crying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, hey, um, maybe, and I'm just throwing this out there. Calm the fuck down, lady. Uh. The, why are there consequences? I'm a woman. I can't handle accountability. Hope says bluster's gone. Admit, this is a whole different vibe right here. 
Yeah, she went from like, I'm a strong, badass woman, to you can't do this to a woman. Ten you know of... she played the woman card. Oh, she's definitely gonna. Um, ten counts of terroristic threats and what was it? Uh eight counts of attempt or of, of threatening murder. Um, she could be going away like 10, 12 years for this. Uh, of a city official, yeah, like a public official that uh uh-huh. that's those are all felonies. So yeah, she could be doing so a good decade. Even in California, they don't fuck around with that. But look how how brazen she was in making the threat. Oh yeah, yeah. But now she's the victim. I'm so sorry I threatened to murder people. It's just because I really don't like the the what's going on in Gaza and people who get kicked out for not paying rent. Well, let's face it. She's only mad that she's in trouble, or she's yeah. upset that she's in trouble. She's not upset by what she did. She thinks that's perfectly acceptable. But- and we're seeing more and more of that, Jack, where people, for all of the nonsense talk about the violent right-wingers at Charlottesville and at January 6th, these lefties, they're not even hiding it anymore. No, the, they have no reason to. It's become acceptable to do what she did. In her first one, I mean, you're pretty much walking the line right there. In that second one, she's like, fuck that line. I'm going right over it and continuing on full speed. Yeah, why would she? She suffered no consequence for the first one. Um, she, was, she wasn't even really thrown out from the look of it. You know, that the escorted her out, but big fucking deal. She wasn't detained or questioned, uh, you know, was that a threat or anything like that. I, I doubt she's ever had any real consequences in her life. And they get celebrated for it. Yeah. They, they get, there wasn't widespread headlines about this crazy fuck who's out there talking about, I hope these, do you remember the, the whole thing with January? They brought a mini guillotine. That meant they were actually going to kill Mike Pence. Yeah. Except uh, when Antifa does it, it's totally cool to beheaded yep. teddy bear. They, they, they were the ones who brought out the guillotines first. Oh, uh, like they do, you know. If this had been, like I said, if Alex Stein had said all of this, but instead of it being about Palestine, it was about, you know, giving hormones to kids, this would have been national news headlines across the whole, look at these crazy right-wingers trying to kill these, they just shot him right there. Yep. Um, And that's a totally interrupt, but uh, Raw Alerts is dropping some breaking news out of Marina Del Rey, California. Uh Uh-oh, what's going on Uh there? Uh, there's an active shooter who's reportedly live streaming himself. Oh um, my! He's shooting from a roof, uh, and police are shooting back at him. In Marina del Rey. Yeah, you want the link? Damn. There's like a. No, I I follow them. It was easy for me to no, grab. Uh oh, Rogue Thought. Thank you so very much. I gotta gotta get this up on the screen though. Wow. Uh, looks like he's been caught. Uh, Rogue Thought, thank you so much. He says, thanks, gentlemen. Thank you for watching and for the donation. We appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're making this post. Law enforcement has taken the active shooter suspect, Victor Nugent, uh, age 41, into custody, who reportedly live-streamed the shooting from a roof, firing numerous shots at people and law enforcement. Wow. Yeah, so was- he's like Vietnamese or Cambodian. Maybe. Yeah. Um he from the from the breaking alert where they're telling us about the shooting to the capture was only ten minutes, so hopefully nobody got killed in this. Yeah, we'll probably find out tomorrow or technically later today. The first thing I see under this, and I don't know if this guy is being serious or not. He was MAGA and angry because of right wing media. This is this is what Russia is doing to us online. Uh, right. Uh, sure. <laughs> All right. F- fucking MAGA, you're making Vietnamese people. Maybe they just were. They're waiting for a riot and they never got there. The Koreans got to shoot from rooftops. He wanted to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. He's like uh, the discount 
Korean shooter. Cynic says, anyone seen Cryptic? <laughs> He's in Colorado. It's okay. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. I'm glad that they caught him, and um, and I'm glad they arrested him alive. I think more of these guys need to be taken alive. Yeah, you know, those were martyrs. Wounded, definitely. Can you say uh, bullshit? I knew. Look, this guy was live streaming, so maybe he was ranting and raving about you know it being a right wing thing. I have no idea. I haven't Shut seen up. the video. <laughs> the video that they share is not him live streaming. It's somebody else's recording. Yeah, they're not going to show his live stream. I think yeah. it probably got taken down uh, or is in the process of it. Uh, Faithless says maimed. Yeah, maimed would be fine. I, I don't want him killed because I want him to suffer long term. That's all. Unless they killed somebody, in which case, yeah, by all means, fucking kill him. I don't care. Anyhow, Jack, all this guy did is ruin somebody's night. Somebody was there trying to get with his woman. You realize he probably interrupted people having sex? What kind of a fucked up thing is that to do? Do you realize how much paperwork those cops are going to have to do now? I know. What a dick. Anyway, oh dear God. Jack, can we show this one? I don't know. Um, I want to watch it, but I'm not sure we can. Is it the, I'm looking at the 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 pro or the uh, the sign one at the end there. Oh yeah, you could show that one. Okay. Well, it said instant karma, and I don't want like her to get punched because that would get us in trouble. That would be hilarious, but no. <laughs> No, it's it would like that. It would be absolutely hilarious, but we don't condone violence here. Instant karma. Karen gets arrested for for steals a sign. I just work here, dude. I I don't make the videos. <laughs> I can't even. I mean, the the I make typos all the time, so I can't judge him too harshly for it. But when I go to read it out loud, this is why I sigh at things like this. If it's from a news article, then I'm like, hey, you should have an editor. Yeah. But in here, I read that out, and people listening at home know my issues with reading out loud and be like, oh, monkey's retarded again. This time it's not me being retarded, okay? Okay. This time it's me setting you up to look retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Instant karma. Karen gets arrested for steal a sign. Steals a sign. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, it's, you got the volume up a little bit. No warning. Ma'am, don't steal the sign. You can't steal the sign. You're on camera stealing a sign. Sam! Officers, he's stealing a sign. Yeah, for the record, there's a lot of people who do this. Do not steal people's signs. That is personal property, and it is theft. Yeah. We've seen more and more people have to learn that lesson, Jack. Uh, okay. Well, except for lefties and women. Baxian says, it's okay. We can't think less of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Aww. Well, I know he means that within the context of reading and not as a person as, as a whole. Mm. I'm a good person. I just don't read well. I'm a bad person, but I read okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're about to walk right into a police officer who you're committing theft right now. Don't throw it over... Oh, no. See, now, by this point, I would have grabbed her backpack and pulled her to the fucking ground because she was robbing me. Yeah, but well, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, just because I would have stomped on her face a few times because I'm an asshole, uh, I probably would have got myself arrested on this one. But yeah, this this type of bullshit has got to stop. Don't steal people's stuff. Doesn't matter and if you yeah, disagree with them; it's rude. I, I didn't mean to turn that on while you're going. I was trying to get this in a place where we can actually see the sign because we were asked what it says. It's an anti-abortion sign. Yeah, I saw the word abortion, but it, the the rain on the camera makes it really hard. It's almost like it was there to block it out on purpose, but yeah, um, it's really hard to see what it actually says. So it, it's some anti-abortion sign. And again, like we talked about at the very beginning of the show. This is a woman who's been taught abortion is her right. How dare you say anything bad about it? Yeah, and activism is necessary and justified every time. This yeah. is brainwashing of the worst kind, but uh, the, the video does give me a little bit of hope. 
Rogue says it's a gynocentric world. These females don't believe in consequences. They don't believe in consequences because they haven't had them. Yeah. And it's not just the women. It's definitely the men, yeah. too. We've got probably two generations of people that have never had real consequences for their actions. And I, I don't disagree with you on that, but there does seem to be, especially with women, um, uh, unless you're against... Sorry. I should be ducking there. Young Geezer, thank you so much for the, the donation with no message. I appreciate it. If there was supposed to be a message, let me know, and I will read that out. Yeah, and over on the street... Uh, Dragon Mage, thank you. Hi, Monkey. Have you seen the stories about probate judge Christina Peterson, who is being removed from the bench for systemic incompetence and was the highest paid judge in Georgia at a quarter of a million dollars? Fuck, no, I didn't. Wow. I haven't seen anything of that. Damn. Thank you both for the donations. You guys are awesome. But anyway, unless you're a woman like J.K. Rowling, who's like, hey, Guys shouldn't be waving their dicks in little girls' faces in locker rooms. There's no consequences for women. Yeah. There's none. Um, and, and you repeal the 19th. It's not even about the 19th. It goes so much further than that. Uh, Super Chat, kick me off YouTube. No message next. I appreciate it, bud. I really do appreciate it. Don't throw it over. So she's going from theft to vandalism here. Don't do that. Don't do that. Still a shot. I just moved it. You just did what? I just moved it. You just moved it. So you took it. Okay. Who was holding it? Me. She just ripped it out of my hand. She just ripped it out of my hand. She just ripped it out of your hand? Yes. Why'd you rip it out of hand? Because. Because I didn't like what the sign said. I hate these people, Jack. I know. I do too. That's why I liked this video. This restricts women's rights. Restricts women's rights? He's, he's... Did you hear what she said? They didn't put it on the screen. She said he's against women's rights. Yep. That makes it okay to commit a larceny. He's Good against... Job. Even if he actually was against women's rights, it doesn't make it legal. And abortion is not a female right. I was yeah. called... Um, uh, I was told I was just being clever the other day because <laughs> and like, yeah, I'm such an asshole being clever. I yeah. ran into the old argument that women are losing their rights. Like, well, what, what, what right do they not have that men have? Well, look at you, you clever monkey. <laughs> if anybody can, can explain that to me, I'm tired of hearing about how women don't have the rights that men do. Which one? Because right now, if I get a woman pregnant and I don't want to have that baby, I have no say in that whatsoever. You know who does? Women. Yep. Women are the ones that have rights that men don't. Yeah, and they could lord that over you for literally 18 years. Yep. They're like, but the women's they they need more rights than men so that they can be equal. Can you get off for sign, please? On college campus. Okay. Where I go. Off, can you get off a sign for your damn property? She's standing on it. Yeah. I can't believe y'all. No, nope. you're not going anywhere. Right now, you're being detained. Okay. Detained for what? Uh, larceny. Yes, you, fucking, was... you admitted it. Yeah. You fucking. He. Why yeah. did you take the sign? Your answer, if you were smart, I didn't. Yeah. Well, Maybe. he saw her. I know. They, yeah. But. You deny it. She's on camera now, not only doing it, but admitting to doing it. Well, it's me. It was somebody that looked like me. I, mean, I, I, I uh, it was blowing away, and I was trying to catch it for him, and I stood on it to keep it from blowing away. Look, look at the weather, man. But Jesus, sign. He has it back. Okay, yeah, I because I got 50, it from you. I moved it fifty yards. I don't care if you moved it one foot. You don't have a right to take someone's property. Okay? Period. I don't care what the circumstance is. You but I like, was upset. Yeah, look at her face. She's like, but I'm pretty. But um, Snub, thank you. you. She did lie. She said she moved it at the beginning. She did move it. Yeah, after she robbed the guy of after it. And... She stole it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A strong arm robbery is still a strong arm robbery. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, lady. Uh, she she should not have to see things that upset her. 
I wasn't shoplifting. I was just moving stuff from one place to another. I was moving it from the store to my house. Yeah. It's it's safe for storage area at my house. You don't have a right to take anyone's property. He was holding it. Therefore, it was his. And you took it. Okay? I know you may not agree with what's being said, but you don't have a right to take someone's property. Period. Okay. You should not have to explain that to an adult. You shouldn't, but this cop knows, like most of us know, that college students are mental toddlers. So you often have to explain things to them in simplistic terms. And he's had to explain it at least twice now. I respect his uh, resolve here because he has a lot more patience with this bitch than I would have. Okay. I'm not trying to get arrested. Then you probably shouldn't have stole. Uh, it's okay because it's justified because they hurt her fifis. I don't know if she's aware of this, but most criminals aren't trying to get arrested. Oh, uh, yeah. They're, they're literally trying not to get arrested. That's why they cover their face, do it at night, do it when somebody's not looking. I'm not trying to get arrested. Probably shouldn't have broke the law. Yeah. This is not a new video, by the way. It just happened to stumble yeah. across it the other day. No. Am I being arrested right now? Okay, why not you I won't mess with this sign again. All right, that's great. But you already did. Yeah. You're already a, a thief. It's like, look, I killed, deals. I killed her, but I ain't going to kill nobody else. Yeah, well, I, get, I get a one off, right? Everybody gets one freebie. <laughs> it's just, these kids are so dumb. There's this, BOGO days, too, where you get, like, w one kill a hooker, you get a free kill, right? That's how that yes, works? Yes, indeed. You get a second room at the Notel Motel to do it in, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's just good business. At this point, college has really become remedial grade school. Yeah. Yeah, where they learn all the wrong things. Yeah. You, they're, they're having to relearn, hey, stealing is wrong. UNC that explains it. <laughs> okay, she just lied to a cop because a moment ago he asked her if she had ID and she said no. Uh, well, you know, uh, I get it. I mean, am I free to leave? I like my. I need to see an here. admiral. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I don't like what he said there either. But she, I can't believe these are the people you're trying to protect. You mean citizens who yeah, weren't yeah. doing anything illegal? Uh, also, the uh, the um, <laughs> closed captions are completely fucking off. Just ignore those guys. USB uh, says I was. I was only traveling with the sign. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't move it. I was traveling with it. I found it in the ocean. <laughs> Can't believe these are. And he says, I'm not trying to protect them. No, sir. That is your job. Serve and protect. Well, he, I think protecting... what he meant was he's not specifically protecting them. He's protecting yeah, and everybody. I... I understand then that should have been his answer. I, I, my job is because he says I'm, I have to uphold the law. Well, the law against not stealing from people is not one you should have to be like explaining to a retard. Yeah. You shouldn't have to justify it to some dumbass. Yeah. A obstruction charge on top of theft. Yeah. If these people wanted to be real dicks to her, they can get her for vandalism theft, lying to a police officer, and obstruction at this point. Oh, yeah. I, I would insist she get charged with strong-arm robbery. Strong-arm robbery, out of yeah. Not, hands, so, uh, We're up to five charges here. Yeah, I mean, they could throw a lot at this stupid bitch. Um, you know, she got, like, some ticket, if best, but... Look at her face, man. Oh, she's huh. indignant about the whole thing. Huh. How dare you waste my time? I'm a woman... You're just some fat cop. That's just how it is. All right. 
Do you see us being subjected to this shit? Do you see us being subjected to this shit? Did she really say that? Yes, she did. <laughs> you had to walk past a sign. You didn't have uh, to fucking look one. at it. It was a mean sign. It said I can't kill babies. It said they're people. I have to recognize that some things are people. Uh public place, okay? They have a right to be here. You don't like their views, you can go away. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to be there. They're here because they want us to watch them. That doesn't mean you have to. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you don't have to watch them. They want us to watch them. This is I like want a, a blowjob. Can we yeah. get that going? <laughs> it's a traveling minstrel show that compels you to look through <laughs> hypnosis, you stupid cunt. No, you could just ignore them and be on your way. I ignore people all the time. It's great. What? My life that's, is better for it. That's the thing with these people. They can't because they need that strife in their life. This bitch is a white girl on a college campus. She's about as privileged as you can be without growing up in like Beverly Hills. She has a sweet ass life. Oh, and yeah. She, she needs some strife in it. And I have to look at those people who want me to look at them. This is one of the fundamental th issues that we have with society now. We are a species of explorers and adventurers, and we have become stagnant. And because of that, because we are so comfortable, we should be checking for new boundaries, like going into outer space or uh, researching new things. Instead, what we do is navel gaze on the most irrelevant things possible, like, I find that sign mildly offensive. Oh, I could use this to fulfill that hole in my life where adventure and, and intrigue should be. And th this is the lazy version of that. It, it's really upsetting. Snubber, thank you. She's right. But if it was reversed, she, would she say the same thing? Or she would say the same thing. Protests are extremely obnoxious uh, now. Protests have always been extreme, extremely obnoxious. It's kind of the point. And um, I hear what you're saying. I don't like most of the protests either, but you know what I do if somebody's being loud and obnoxious and I'm not interested? I walk by. I ignore them. I, I come here and make fun of them. I, I don't need to steal stuff. I, and I get what you're saying. You're not defending this chick. But the thinking that goes into these people, they, they really believe they, I have to stop this injustice. No, you don't. Move on with your fucking life. If, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me ever. I do believe you about that. Yeah, it's just, it's so lazy. These are are people that need that conflict, and they need that sense of adventure, and they go about it the easiest way possible, which is getting offended by stupid, trivial shit that we would have ignored thirty years ago. Danger says, "I suspect this girl has many holes already filled." No, 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 no. This is a lesbian who does not have sex. Just saying. That's that that's this kind of chick. You can ignore them. You ignore them, that takes away their power. Just that's Okay. It doesn't matter how much you ignore them, they're gonna come back. Thank you, Retro, for becoming a member for another month. That's month number 10. Sadly, his sign is now evidence and the cops will take it. I mean, that is true. But they can make another sign. I'd be like, yeah, take that shit. I'm pressing full charges on this bitch. And I'd be like, yeah, that sign hit me when she took it. That's assault. And they're going to come back again. And this is why women have such a problem getting abortions in um, North Carolina. Women have problems getting abortions in North Carolina because this guy is standing on a college campus with a sign saying abortion is wrong. Yeah, and making her feel bad for butchering a child. Yeah, oh, poor you. But to be fair, she said in this North Carolina. In this North Carolina. As opposed to the other North Carolinas. <laughs> Snubber, thank you. Now, Monkey, she could have sex. Her partner may not take no for an answer. That's fair. Yeah, it's probably yeah. male feminist. <laughs> we've seen we've seen the violence she's willing to go through to get what she wants. Imagine if she was horny. And y'all just let them get away with this shit. Okay. Just let them get away with it. And the cop's like, okay, I don't care about this. <laughs> Just stop stealing shit. 
cannot believe y'all let this happen. I would arrest her just because she's annoying me at this point. This is why I'm yeah. not a cop. You're like, I'm going to tase you if you don't shut up, bitch. Let this happen. What happened to you? That She really believes something bad has happened to her. Yeah, she saw something that made her mildly uncomfortable, and you can't do that. I she, can't there's not enough pumpkin spice to comfort her emotions right now. We're not talking about Uvalde. We're talking about a dude with a sign, you crazy bitch. She can't differentiate the two because there's no sense of hierarchy of oppression or pain. It's all the same to these people. They do not have the capacity or understanding to delineate between levels you know, of in, infractions. It's all the same. As you said, this is an older video, but I am glad you brought this one to to the table today because i said at the beginning you have people who are perfectly willing to get rid of free speech rights something actually written in the constitution mm -hmm. to defend a made-up right to kill a baby yeah yeah it's literally uh, what we're saying he should not even be allowed to say that because they have to face the possible discomfort of what they're doing might actually be murder yeah and uh, that makes a lot of people inherently uncomfortable, and they don't want to face that oh. more quandary. They'd rather just assume they're still a good person and go on with their day. And if she's internalizing this as some sort of judgment against her, that's on her. And uh, you're, you're uncomfortable now because you saw a sign about that being a real living person, and you've already butchered some baby or your friend did. Um, that's, that's a feeling of yours not of the people carrying the sign i would I, I get what you're saying about the abortion thing and you're not wrong with that it's amazing how like no those are not even human when they're talking about killing babies like that, that's not even human how dare you say that's human they, they've had to dehumanize it but i think this goes even deeper because it's not just this issue it's any issue they disagree with you oh, yeah. shouldn't be allowed to say that the, your disagreement is a literal infraction on their being yes it is a paper cut on their soul those words were violent you said you didn't agree with me yeah <sighs> they cannot handle criticism of any kind yeah even constructive criticism like you did a good job here but here's how you can improve they can't handle that because they've been told they're special and perfect for so long, they believe it. And they've been indoctrinated oh. with all this commie shit. So you put anything against them that is different from what they believe, and it is literally an assault on them. Gray, I think what you're getting at is mostly right, but you, you stated just a little wrong. You said she still feels guilty about what she did, and that is, her, is their fault. She doesn't feel any guilt at all. She's upset she got caught or she got stopped. Um, and that is their fault. She's upset that the cop is, because she doesn't think she did anything wrong here at all. That's why I, I said just a little bit off, because you yeah. use the word guilt. There's no guilt here at all. No, None. she feels targeted. Yeah. You she, are you are coming after me when they're the ones with the wrong thing. But you are, you're you're 100% right that in her world, it's their fault. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I just said. He, what he just said, if you guys couldn't hear it, hear it, is you admitted to taking the sign. Yeah. Yeah. So she's under arrest. And she, yep. the look on her face, what? How dare you? It was yeah. both indignation and shock. Legitimate <laughs> shock that she is suffering a consequence. Yep. And th this is why, and look, I'm not trying to help criminals out. You do not admit to the cops that you did this shit. Oh, God, no. Hell no. You shouldn't you fucking... be talking to the cops. Just be like, I want my lawyer. I don't answer yeah. questions. Why'd you take their sign? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I, I don't answer questions. Yeah. Um, I, I, I need a lawyer if, you're, if we're going to have this discussion. I, what are you talking yeah. about? Is this a consensual conversation or am I being detained? Yeah, this detainment is a de facto uh, holding. It's a pseudo arrest. So you have a right to invoke your Fifth Amendment rights. So you should do that all times, unless you're stupid commie. Then admit to all your crimes. Yeah, 
You tell uh, them everything did, if you're a communist. Cop walks up and go, why did you do that? Like, uh, I need you to prove that I did that. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to need to look at the what, attorney president. What? I, just because I'm standing on that side. It blew over here. I was trying to catch it for him. But seriously, <laughs> anything <laughs> like, yeah, because it would make me mad. <laughs> the ground is wet. I want my feet to be dry. Nobody was laying down a coat for me to walk over this puddle. Yeah. <laughs> Chivalry is dead. Um, rewind it. The cop does say, yeah, he because she asks if she's under arrest and he goes, I'm being detained. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. I did was I just walked it over here. I was gonna give it back okay, to him. Well, I just That's why I stood on it. I was yeah. gonna give it back to him. I was gonna give the pieces back to him. Stupid bitch. Yeah, it's a little late to backpedal, all right? We all saw all right. you. Look, sweetheart, he just told you that the reason you're under arrest is because you admitted something? Shut yeah. up. She confessed to larceny. So, yeah, you're absolutely going to get arrested for that, you dumb bitch. It's on camera. This is why any conservative that does any kind of activism or goes to any kind of protest or rally should have cameras on them at all times. Oh, yeah. Always Plus record what you're doing at, at a public event. Uh, colorful glasses says this isn't a sign; it's a social construct. <laughs> oh, well played. I didn't know that, man. I didn't know that. I came over here and then you rested against the sign. So listen, we need to make this big court and call the scene. Take your backpack off. I don't know how to put your back. I cannot believe this. Okay, right now I'm asking. You do is there something else that I can do? No. Oh, there's the sex offer. Is there something else I can do? Right after she licked her lips. Is there something else I can do? Yeah, in the future, uh, don't commit crimes, dumbass. Is there a gangbang we could have? Uh, she's got uh, nice lips, to be, for the record. Did I just say? Um, ladies, if you're going to try this, don't do it in the middle of an open quad and in the middle of the day with people recording you. Because even if the cop wanted to do that for you, he, he can't now. Yeah, tiny girl brains. Although, you know, I'm not opposed to watching this chick get plowed by three or four dudes. Thank you, DP, who says, but can she make a decent sandwich? I'm guessing not. She doesn't look like she's the cooking type. I feel like she, she couldn't even cook a kid. Buttering bread at the. <laughs> I just told you you're under arrest. I cannot unarrest you. The system must be back. That's why we're under arrest. Yeah. By the way, that is for your safety, ladies. Um, when I I'm going to arrest you. Is there anything I can do? He st he has to arrest you at that point because then you can be like he said if I blew him he'd undo it. Uh, yeah. Also, that could be considered offering a bribe. So it absolutely is off offering a bribe. Yeah. Is there some something else we could do? Uh, yeah. Fuck this dumb bitch. Um, she's not smart. <laughs> Already entering the bargaining stage. Yeah. That's a quick jump. She looks just like Pearl. That's horrible. She's not that ugly. What? She does not look like Pearl. She's not fat or anything. No, well, I'm she's happy. fat to me, but yeah, by your standards, she's Lizzo. But um, yeah, she's a little chunk of Soros Rex. But you know, it's still, you know, uh, still not that hideous looking. No, she's she's got facial features and um, her she she's mildly attractive. Yeah, she could probably use some sit ups and uh, comb her hair so that big forehead doesn't show as much. Yeah, um, I hope she learned her lesson because you know she had to call her parents to get her bailed out. My guess would be her parents are the kind who are like, I can't believe they did this to you. They're oppressing you. Oh my god, well, we should sue those cops. Pearl Bailey, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. oh, wow, wow, nice reference, Sean. Well played, yeah. Um, yeah, theft, obstruction, bribery, evasion. Yeah, I mean, th there's a whole lot of things that she could get in trouble for here. And look, if you're a parent and this is your kid and you got to bail them out, you're like, look, I understand why you did it, but you can't behave this way. I understand being mad about it, but you can't behave this way. 
Yeah, and let's face it, she got booked and was released on her own recognizance because she's Mm -hmm. a college kid and probably got like an $80 ticket. Yeah. And that would be about it. And maybe some restitution when she actually goes to court. Uh, But yeah, it's not going to be any serious charge. It's just petty theft is what she likely got hit with. And it's, it's like $75 here in Ohio, or at least that's what it was. So, um, yeah, she didn't face any real serious consequences, but she was acting like this was some major thing, some major stab at the patriarchy or something. I can't believe this. You're, you're allowing this to happen. Yeah, and then she got caught. Just don't steal. It's, it's pretty easy. It takes more effort to steal than to not steal. Here, yeah. look, I'm not stealing right now. I am also not stealing right now. Uh, it's amazing how that how simple that is. And it's not, taking, not to be a criminal in five easy steps. <laughs> it's not taking any effort on my part at all. Oh, God. But, I mean, it really is what these kids have been taught, man, how to behave. It's just to be giant children. Yeah, you said something when we were watching the other video that made me want to grab that one because I saw it the other day. Again, I'm glad you did because it does make that point so much. She is so in favor of abortion that she doesn't think free speech should exist. Yeah. It's it's a dangerous mentality we're seeing more and more of these days. Yeah. Um, a lot of young people do not realize that if oh. it's turned on their enemies, eventually it will be turned back on them. Tailfin says, step one, don't steal. Step two, don't steal. <laughs> right? Yeah. Magister says you're stealing my time or something. Well, you know, if we use her logic, I do want you guys to watch me, so you have to. Yeah. Uh, well, we're not forcing you to, but you, you're supposed to. Your social credit score will suffer. We're we're pretty much making it happen because we want people to watch. Yeah. Uh, the first, uh, first rule of oh. anti-theft club is tell people don't steal. Uh, you sent me this article, and... Um, I, I wish there was more to it. Bar complaint filed against Oregon DA Mike Schmidt for misrepresenting facts and granting clemency to notorious killers. Mike Schmidt's an old friend of the channel, Jack. A uh, friend is a very liberal interpretation of my feelings toward him. By old friend, I mean a piece of shit we've talked about many times on this channel. He's the prosecutor who should have been prosecuting all of those people we watched in the summer of love who were violently beating on police and setting fires and making general criminals of themselves on camera um and then let five thousand charges go in a single swoop of a pen yep and then was like what why is crime going higher he is uh bragged about his antifa connections Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, one of his best friends is an Antifa member. I've dropped the article numerous times on this guy. Yep. Uh, D.A. Schmidt made egregious rep- misrepresentations while handling clemency applications for two individuals who were convicted of aggravated murder. <laughs> Jesus. Mike, we know you're a douche, but fuck. He's a Soros hire. I would I would argue he's the original Soros hired. Uh, he's definitely one of the most effective. Uh, he's one of the first ones who's really that guy. I mean, you could probably make an argument that there was one or two in, in L.A. And, and New York first. But when it comes to actually getting things done because of his location, um, he's been probably the most successful. Yeah. But you're not wrong about him being a Soros boy. He absolutely is. A bar complaint has been filed against Portland, Oregon. I'm going to pronounce it this time, Jack. Multnomah? Did I do it? That's close enough, yeah. Um, County, district attorney. or We're just going to say Portland because it's basically Portland. That's basically Portland. Uh, The Portland district attorney, Mike Schmidt, just weeks before a controversial progressive prosecutor hopes to be reelected for allegedly misrepresenting facts. Um. The way they wrote that sentence, it sounds like he wants to be reelected for misappropriating facts. I mean, it does seem to be kind Sorry, of especially not misrep- uh, misrepresenting, not misappropriating. Chuck French, a longtime 
prosecutor and same officer retired under Schmidt's leadership, filed a complaint on April 3rd on allegations that Schmidt violated Oregon state bar rules that prohibited dishonesty, fraud, deceit, or misrepresentation. Mike Schmidt? No. What? Well, I know we're all shocked. Um, I appreciate Devil Fruit, you trying to get me to pronounce that right, but I live in Michigan and I've had to learn way too many Indian words already. There's a, a, a limitation on how many of those you can do right. My brain can't take anymore. I, I, I got Charlevoix up there, okay? It's not much I can do. Um, French claimed that D.A. Schmidt made egregious misrepresentations while handling clemency applications for two individuals who were convicted of aggravated murder uh, in cases that French had prosecuted, which resulted in the former governor, Kate Brown, commuting their prison sentences. Yeah, these, these people murdered somebody, and he's like, ah, it's not a big deal. Yeah, well, They're they murdered people. the right type of person. Take it. Chippewa County. See, I can pronounce Chippewa. Um, there's way too many that I can pronounce because I live here. We need to change everything to Smith so Monkey can say it. That's all I'm saying. That's now the Smith tribe, not the Sioux tribe. That's right. I'll call the I will call the tribes by their names. I'm no longer calling any land by Indian names. I'm, well, I'm calling them not... all. I'm, I'm, what's a good British name? Ian. Uh, it's all Ian now. Worcestershire. Worcestershire County. Worcestershire. Shire. Why do they shire everything? They love the shires. And they don't even pronounce it Shire. They pronounce it Sure. Well, that's their silly accent, like aluminium. Like they're a drunk redneck. <laughs> right? Uh, I just dropped the link for the article about Mike Schmidt being old buddies with an Antifa militant. For those of you that have missed that one over the years. The two convicted inmates are Theron Hall, 39, and Danielle Cox, 38. Hall was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole in 2006 for killing Carlos Hernandez Sanchez. Hall shot and killed Hernandez Sanchez while robbing him. Yep, these are perfectly good people. Didn't do nothing wrong. Scumbags. Cox, a notorious killer who went by the street name Shadow Cat from the X-Men comics, pleaded guilty in 2006 to killing and torturing a 22-year-old disabled woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds like something Kitty Pride would do. Uh, Cox was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, or with the possibility of parole after 25 years. And she just, she just, look, the first girl shot, or first, I don't know if that's a girl or guy based on the name, um, shot and killed somebody they were robbing. You, you go to jail for life for that. You torture and murder a disabled person, uh, you know, 25 years. Am I the only one who thinks I, they they should at least be equal? I fucking hate Portland. What a dump. Tortured and killed a disabled person and got a lighter sentence than robbing somebody when they killed them. That's the world we live in now. Fuck. The clemency sought after by Schmidt and approved by Governor Brown resulted in Cox becoming eligible for parole at an earlier date and Hall becoming eligible for parole at all. However, both remain in prison for now. For now. They'll, for now. they'll get clemencies later down the line when people forget what they did. Um, Schmidt never contacted the victim's family, French, or French's co-prosecutor to seek their opinion, despite Oregon law requiring input from the victim's families. Whoopsie. Oops. Uh, well, it's, they don't really care. Additionally, Chief Deputy District Attorney Kristen Snowden filed a complaint against Schmidt with the County Human Resource Department last month over the same clemency allegations, in addition to accusing Schmidt of creating a workplace culture of fear, intimidation, and retaliation. I think we talked about that. Yeah, I think we did briefly. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, if we didn't do it on air, you and I mentioned it to each other in passing. Yeah, we've definitely talked about a few things about this guy that haven't been put on the air, so... Andrew Rogers, Schmidt's campaign manager, denounced the accusations. Uh, Nathan Vasquez, who can't articulate a single meaningful platform point beyond I don't like my boss, continues to rely on his small group of friends to manufacture controversies in a desperate attempt to discredit Mike. 
I, I don't think this is a manufactured controversy. This well, seems like a real controversy. Let's see. Um, this part right here, Schmidt never contacted the victim's family and Oregon law requiring it. That should be pretty easy to prove. Yeah. And that's all that really matters. Um, if you can prove that, then yes, he absolutely did that. He absolutely broke the law. Now, whether he lied on the clemency things, like said he did and he actually didn't, then you get into the lying part of it. But easy question. Go ask the families. Did they contact you? Nope. He did it. He's a bad man. And I, I have no doubt believing that piece of shit did not do what he was supposed to do legally. Yeah. I would be more shocked at him doing things he's supposed to do. Yeah, but um, I think you're asking a lot there of this man. Okay. Oh, God. E. Jean Carroll, writer. I mean, she is a writer, technically. Technically. And this remember, this all stems from a book she wrote about how many times she's been sexually assaulted over the years. It's 10, for those of you wondering. Um, e. Jean Carroll, writer who bested Trump in court, surrenders gun to police. Police were made aware of the unlicensed gun after Carroll testified in court. She kept a revolver by her bed. So this means this means all of the um, the the gun folks are going to be telling us she's a bad person now, right? Because she had an illegally obtained gun. <laughs> Laughing at monkey trying to pronounce Vasquez. I'll say it however I want. I'm American. That says Vasquez. I'm not French. Well, that's anyway, how you say it in English. I'll say it however I damn well please. I'm American. We don't have to pronounce things. Um, New York writer E. Jean Carroll has handed over a gun to police that she was keeping, but without a license. So they arrested her, right? <laughs> <laughs> During her long legal, legal battle with Trump after she sued him over sexual abuse, according to a new report, police in Warwick, New York, took possession of the firearm after discussing the matter with the former Elle magazine com columnist, NBC News reported. Carol told The Guardian in 2019 she had always had a gun but had not, or not kept it loaded until after she accused the president of raping her in the 90s and entering civil lit litigation with Trump which prompted her to load the revolver and put it next to her while she slept out of security fears. Um, Why would you tell people that? If you're worried for your safety, maybe putting a loaded gun on, on the nightstand is the wrong way to go. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're asleep and it's right next to you. Uh, somebody sneaky comes at you, bad things can happen. That's why you don't tell people that you have a loaded firearm next to your bed. Um, in May of last year, after a tumultuous civil trial, a jury in Manhattan found that Trump had sexually abused Carol. Notice they did not say she raped or raped her, which is her claim. Her claim is that he went into a dressing room with her pulled her pantyhose slightly down and rammed his weenie in her. Yep. Which, by the way, if you know anything about the human body and have ever had sex, well, no, that is not possible. She also said rape is sexy. Um, and that people fantasize about it. Yeah. Be, be, I, I, don't, I, I think of rape as violent. I think people think rape is sexy. Don't you think? Don't you think? No. You're really fun to talk to. You're really fun to talk to. And the great part is right before she says all this stupid shit, he's like, we got to take a break and we'll have you back in just a moment. And then she says this. And when they came back from break, E. Jean Carroll was no longer there. They're like, we got to get this crazy bitch out. And that should have been the end of E. Jean Carroll because she also went on their uh, one of their afternoon shows the next day and said equally stupid shit. And she did disappear for a while. They let the the controversy around her died down and people forget the fact that she thinks rape is sexy and that her story is frankly unbelievable. Yeah. And then started pumping her up again. Remember the whole thing is that she claimed that, that Donald Trump besmirched her. This is a, a lie, a, a libel claim that she's like, he said, I, I was too ugly to fuck. 
which is basically what he said. Yeah, well, she is pretty ugly. Um, but yeah, he was not found guilty of a crime or no. raping her. Nope. It was mostly the libel part. And yeah, they did say that he he sexually assaulted her. Um, they did not say that she was raped. And even if they had, it's not a criminal trial. He didn't go to jail for this, Jack. She was suing him. Yeah, it was a civil case. Yeah. And uh, I know a lot of people don't know this about New York, but you do need a license just to possess a firearm. Yes. Yeah. You need a license to, to just to own a handgun and a permit for a shotgun or a rifle. Yeah. Which she good should, luck getting. She should be in jail right now. Yeah, this is uh, not something they fuck around with normally. This is a, a pretty basic charge, and yeah, she should be in jail. I th I think the law is oh. highly unconstitutional, but it's, yes, it's on the books. And unless she's going to fight it, I think she should have been arrested. But instead, they just politely asked her to hand it to him. Now, imagine this again with a Republican instead of it being somebody who hates Trump. Any, any pro-Trump person accidentally tells on themselves about having an unregistered gun in New York. You think they're coming and knocking on the door nicely and going, can we please have that? <laughs> no. Or are we going to get uh, shot while resisting arrest? <laughs> Especially if it's a black Trump supporter, man. They'd shoot through the door and be like, he had, he was armed. We saw it. He's coming right for us. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel bad for black Trump supporters because like, oh, no other group gets this much shit. The Hispanics don't. The, the um, Asians don't. The Laplanders don't. Uh, the Christmas elves don't get this kind of shit. It's just the black guys. They do not like black people being conservative. Uh, even John Stossel couldn't get a permit. People actually wanted him dead. Yeah, he had actual uh, death threats. Yeah, they like, said nah, that sorry. wasn't good enough. And uh, again, we don't agree with the law, but it is the law. And if, if you're talking about how it would be applied to you or me, Jack, you would oh. be dead in that situation. Yeah, instantly. Yeah. We saw him reach for it. It, was, it wasn't even in his apartment. We saw him go for it, though. He was standing oh, on the sign. Yeah, um, <laughs> he was standing on the sign, yeah. With that, we're going to wrap this one up, Jack. We're at the two-hour mark. I don't know if I can get any decent gaming, and I don't know what time Little Butt went to sleep. Because, Jack, I came home and went right to sleep. The girls came home with us. We have the girls here. Oh. Um, so when they get up, I get to spend the day with them. They're going to be here for most of the day. Uh, but... I don't know what time she went to sleep to know when to expect her awake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I might try to sneak in a little bit of seven days to die, but it'll end abruptly whenever she wakes up. I've been, I, I started playing seven days again. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Oh, you like I spend, game. I spend two hours bitching about how much I dislike the changes they made to the game as I, as, as I sit there enjoying playing the game. <laughs> It's just there's so many changes they made to it that were unnecessary and that I really wish they would understand and, and change back at least a little bit. Um, and it, it's made a lot of people walk away from the game. The game is still fun, though. Um, it's just a little more annoying than they needed to make it. So, yeah, you know what? I I don't want to say for – yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stream. So give me like half an hour after this, guys, and I'll, I'll have the stream up over on Twitch for anybody who wants to come hang out. Um, thank you for the donations. Thank you for coming and hanging out. You guys are so awesome to us. We, we cannot tell you how much we appreciate it. I mean, we try, but there's just not enough words. Jack, anything you want to show? Uh, nope. Instead of working on videos, I went up and visited my dad at the hospital and took my sister-in-law up there. And uh, so I didn't get anything done today. So uh, I got nothing. But thank you so much for the donations. You guys are awesome. You're beautiful people, and you should uh, remind people of that. Indeed. Best audience on the, in the world, man. Best audience on the planet. Probably in the universe. I've just never been off planet to judge you against the others. That's all. Yeah, I'm willing to commit to that now. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, Jack, a pleasure as always, dude. Always glad to be here. Everyone, take care of yourselves. We love you. Have a wonderful day, and we will see y'all next time. Bye, everybody. The show is over. You can go. I hope you don't stick it in a hoe. Or your wiener might itch.